Hey martial arts and fitness fans, this is Wing Chun Kid here. Today I'm going to show you five of the advanced Wing Chun exercises and workout that I do. Here, check it out. It's a combination of yoga and martial arts training. Are you ready? Here we go. Here is the single leg squat. It's a useful exercise to get really strong legs. Here's how you do it. First of all, let's do a regular squat. Just going down and up. So as you go down, put your hands out like this, straight. Then come up, then come back. So from the side, just like this, and like this. So that's a regular squat with both legs. Now all you need to do is do it with one leg. So what you do is just lift up one leg, and slowly go down as far as you can without having this foot touch the ground and come back up like that. Okay, and do that again. Breathe out, breathe in. Make sure you combine your breathing with your movements. From the side, you can do it like this. Another point is to keep your toes pointing straight, not outwards and not inwards. Okay, so when I'm doing the squat, my foot is, my toe is pointing straight. So this way, leg up, hands up, down slowly, all the way. You can stick this one leg out, point your toes like that, and come up slowly like this. So that's the single leg squat. Here's a couple variations you can do for the leg, single leg squat. You can start adding some weights to your hand. A good one to start with is just a regular pole or a wooden bow staff like this one. So we're gonna do the same thing. Except now we're gonna hold up the staff like this and do the squat. Like that. Wiggle your toes back and forth, turn it around, keep this nice and straight, and come back up with the weight. As you get stronger, you can add weight onto this. Here's an advanced version of the single leg squat. We're gonna combine the bow staff and also a couple more movements of the leg. So do your squat as regularly. And when you get the lowest position, move out your left leg, or your outside leg to the side, and rotate it to the back, and to the side, and back to the front. And then get back up slowly, like that. Do that five to 10 times and you'll feel the burn. The reason we do this is now you strengthen your entire hip muscles in your leg and in your core. So train hard and have fun. The side plank. A lot of people do it with just the hands, which is great, but we're gonna do it with our knuckles. This is really good for Jeet Kune Do training when they do their straight lead. Now you can use the side plank to solidify and strengthen your straight lead. We can do it on the ground. So how you do it, just start kneeling on, your, uh, on the ground, put your fist down in the vertical position, stretch out your legs, the left one, and then put your right one underneath it. Now once you got this position, try to keep your body straight, don't hang it like this, don't bend it like this, keep it nice and straight. Try to imagine a straight line going from your top of your head to your toe. Then stick out this arm, raise it up as high as you can, and make a nice stretch from the fingertips down to your knuckles. You can do it holding a knuckle, or you can do it opening your hand, or like this. And try to feel it go straight across your back, like that. So that's a side knuckle plank, and train that and you get a stronger punch. A couple variations you can do is change the angle of your fist here. So we did the vertical one like this, but we can also change it to be horizontal like this. So try it out. And you can start training some other positions. So this is a horizontal punch. And you can do the same thing like this. So instead of doing it this way, you can do it this way. Horizontal. So put your fist horizontal like this. And then do it horizontal like this. If it's getting too easy for you, you can start adding weights. Small weights to start with and start 
doing it like this. Okay, so as before, it's a lot of plank. Some pointers is uh, a lot of people's wrists aren't that strong, so start uh, easy. Start easy. Just do it on your knees. Get a stronger wrist. I prefer to get pads, something not too soft, not too hard, so that your knuckles won't be uh, won't you won't get bruises on your knuckles as easily. So that's a side knuckle plank. Knuckle handstands. Here's how you do them. A lot of people do handstands with their hand, and this is great. But if you want to train your wrist and train your knuckles for toughness, knuckle handstands is the way to go. You also get stronger shoulders and stronger back. All right, here's how you do it. So start with the wall to help you out, like this. And put your knuckles about shoulder width apart. And then you can angle them in a little bit so it's easier to have the structure. Or just find the angle that you want that you feel the strongest. So either this way, or it's 45 degrees, or 90 degrees, up to you. I like it somewhere in between. Then just slowly put your legs up one at a time. And get your legs as straight as possible. Put them together like this. And then hold that for as long as you can. Usually uh, 10 seconds to one minute is good. You can also put one leg over the other. All right, so that is your knuckle handstand. You wanna come back down, just do one leg at a time. Just like that. One important tip for this exercise is you need to keep your back straight. So when you're against the wall, make sure that it, your feet are here and your body is on a complete straight angle like this. Even though it's on an angle, make sure it's completely straight. You don't want to have a curve like this or a curve like this. So let me demonstrate again. Put your feet up like that. You don't want to bend it like this. Like that, have your back bent this way or the other way. You want to keep it straight from your knuckles. Your knuckles all the way to your toes as straight as possible. So that's one point to do this properly. A couple of safety pointers for you if you're doing this exercise. Make sure that you have a nice soft surface so that if you do tumble forward that you fall into something soft and don't hurt your back. Another thing is don't do it for too long because the blood will rush to your head and you might get dizzy. Once you get back up, get up slowly, take a deep breath so that the um, blood will go back to the rest of your body so that you don't faint. We're going to show you how to do the knuckle curl. Now you see a lot of people doing the curl, it's a yoga pose with their hands like this, which is great, but can you do it with your knuckles? Now here we go. Here's how you do it. The easier way to train this, if you haven't done this before, is to get a block like this. If you don't have like something like this, get a telephone book or just some towels is fine too. So you can start doing this. Um, before you do knuckles, obviously do the hand ones, but one, once you do the hand one, we're going to graduate and do our knuckles. Uh, easier way to do it is to have your thumb here to help balance a little bit more, a little bit easier. So from here, you're just going to put our elbows behind our knee, like this, on the inside of our legs. And then we're going to just rock forward and then just put our head there so you get a nice balance and you're not scared of uh, rolling over. Now once you get balanced, now just rock back a little bit then you can get your head off the block like that. And once you get good at that, then you don't need the block. See my head is off the block now, right? Okay, so once you get good at that, do it without the block. You might want to put some padding here just in case you fall forward, doesn't hit your head on concrete or a hard floor. This is a little bit softer, so it's okay. So what you can do is start this about shoulder width. Find a nice position, not too wide, not too narrow. Let's find the strongest, strongest position you can find. And then do it like that. And what you can do is adjust your knuckles back and forth to get that balance. Now, once you get better, you're not going to use the thumbs anymore. You're just going to use your knuckles 
to get the balance. Now this is harder, but uh, once you get the balance well, then you can do it like this. Okay, so that is the knuckle curl. The way I train this is to hold the position for 30 seconds to a minute. Now, what you might want to do is if you can't balance for that long, that's okay. Just do your best. If you're off balance, just adjust back and try to hold the uh, position again. And if you're off balance, just go back to that uh, balance position. Eventually, your, your wrist will get stronger and your balance will get better. So this exercise is very good for training the wrist power and training the strength of your muscles and your hands. And also trains you to have the nice structure of your elbow, trains you to have the right angle of your of your forearm so they get the most power, trains everything to solidify your structure to increase your punting power. Here's a super advanced version for you that are insane and want to do something crazy. Start training your fingertips to do the crow, uh, the crow position. So we're not doing just knuckle crow, we're doing fingertip crow. How I do it, put your fingers in position, find the strongest position you can, do, you can, you can feel, and then do the crow position. Very difficult to get balance because your fingers are not as strong as your as your knuckles. So train hard, and you can start doing it for one second, five seconds, and start doing this advanced training. Now we're going to do the single knuckle push-up. This is a exercise you can do once you get good at doing a lot of push-ups. I say at least 50 push-ups without stopping. Then you can start doing single hand push-ups with just your knuckles. Here's how you do them. Get into a regular push up, push up position and then expand your legs a little bit wider like that. And then get nice and comfortable, feel a nice strong position. Now put one hand behind your back and then go up down on one, like that. And make sure you do good breathing while you're doing the exercise to get more strength and to have proper technique. Hey, thanks for watching my martial arts training and workout fitness videos. I hope you enjoyed them and use them to get stronger. If you like this video, make sure you check out my other videos that I have on my channel and make sure you click the subscribe button right here to get the latest and best training and workout and self-defense training lesson videos that I have. So I'll see you soon in the next video.